Got a wall, huh? Yeah, cool. I told, I told Frank I wanted to be on an advisory board to help us with the, uh, the station center. Right? Could I just talk to him about that? Yeah. So, so I told him that we think that the center was playing the band. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am so excited to see all of your beautiful faces here this morning, and we're here for an amazing, amazing cause. And while I was backstage a couple minutes ago, we were having a little powwow, and we said, you know what? We're not actors. We're real people doing real things for real change, for real people, for real outcomes. And so today... Today is really about having change that we all can see, that we all can feel, that we all can believe in for the benefit of our kids and for our young men. And I'm honored to be the mayor of the city of Compton. I'm here to officially announce that the city of Compton has accepted the president of Barack Obama's My Brother's Keeper Community Challenge. Here with me are my distinguished colleagues from the city of Compton City Council, Dr. Willie O. Jones. Give him a hand, please. Special, and special invited guests that are proud to assist us in creating and providing real solutions for our city and improving the outcomes for young men and boys of color. In February 2014, President Barack Obama launched the My Brother's Keeper Initiative to address persistent opportunity gaps that our young men and boys face in communities everywhere and to ensure that all young people can reach their full potential. My Brother's Keeper seeks to unite leaders and activate organizations and people and communities everywhere around the country to work together to improve the lives of our children and ultimately to improve the future of the United States of America with a special emphasis on young men and boys of color. This is about going what is smart for our young people, for our families, for our economic future, for our community health, and for the entire nation. Our community is full of people whose lives that if you work that really believe that if you work hard, you should be able to have a real opportunity at success. And so what we're here today to do is to remove all obstacles, to remove all barriers, and to provide opportunities where there once were none. Here in the city of Compton, 32% of our students are not reading at the basic level by the third grade, which represents a large portion with a majority that are African American and Latino young boys and men of color. More than 40% of all students in the city of Compton are still not graduating from high school. And our unemployment rate is 14, excuse me, 17.4%, which is double the state and national average. Although we have addressed re the reduction in crime here in the city of Compton, we are still not satisfied with our young men and boys dying on the streets. Standing to my right, we have esteemed council members, to my left, we have community leaders, and we have representatives that will be sharing remarks of why they have committed to this awesome challenge. And one thing that people that know me very well know that a challenge for me is really not a challenge at all, it's an opportunity. And so I think we all have an opportunity to make huge impact and also to be able to reduce, reduce the, the outcomes that all of us know that are no longer acceptable in 2014.